Welcome back to Thursday Nights Off the Ball. It's Richard McCormick here with you. And as we continue our look ahead to this weekend's Congress at Croke Park, we turn to Motion 14 on the Clore, which is about adding Galway to the Leinster or indeed the Munster Minor Hurling Championships. Somebody who's clearly very much in favour of this is the Galway chairman, Paul Bellio. I'm delighted to say he joins us on the line this evening. Good evening, Paul. Evening, Richie. How are you doing? Good, thank you. Good, thank you. Um, This has been on the cards, it seems, for a while. And... Like as somebody who does sports bulletins for a living, it has always struck me as being slightly incongruous that Galway have played such uh, an ancillary part to the minor championships, and that you're kind of brought in at the last minute, and it almost seems as if, oh yeah, Galway are involved. Get the Asher to see if they want to drink as well, and uh, that's how, it, like from the outside looking in, that Galway have been treated uh, in the minor championships so far. I'd imagine your view mightn't differ that much from mine. Yeah, I think it's funny. I've been doing the rounds, as you can imagine, ahead of the motion and speaking to people from different counties and maybe outside the country as well with the international units. And their reaction typically is, but, but you are in Leinster. <laughs> and, uh, and we were like, not not at every grade. And it, it slipped under the radar in, in, in that regard. And look, it's it's a combination of reasons over the years of, of why that has been the case. But I think um, we're in... Uh, it's senior level at under 20 level we've gone into the provinces I think we've impacted them very positively uh, I think everyone would say we haven't taken over the world or dominated them for anyone to fear us too much I would say unfortunately and this is the case at under 17 we just want to get a level playing field across the board we feel we're losing out from a development perspective and that we're only guaranteed two games whenever we play our first game we're playing a team again that's either playing their sixth or their seventh and while it mightn't be impacting us at the grade that year I think it's hurting us down the line Yeah Why has that roadblock been in place for so long? Look straight to the point there's a perception out there that if we were to go into the Leinster Championship that we're too strong and that we will to deny um, some teams the possibility of winning it. I would say Offaly and Leash contesting the final last year didn't help matters in that regard that um, having maybe got over to Kenny, if Galway are there as well, you know, it's a blocker. But And look, I, I accept that to a certain degree. I get that. But it, fair is fair. And at the end of the day, the best team is going to win on the field rather than in the structure or in the boardroom as far as, as I can see. So the blocker has really been at a provincial council level, certain counties have, have blocked it. And I think this is the first real push in the last year from us. We're, we're pushing this strongly now. Yeah. And look, Leinster's a preference because it's the obvious one. Um, we're willing to go anywhere to get competitive games, but realistically, and that will be the the, the slant we'll be putting on the motion, we're looking to go into Leinster. Yeah, clearly these votes don't happen in a vacuum and it doesn't just get written on the claw and then suddenly you turn up and hope for the best. You've clearly done your, your legwork on this. Uh, in the lead up to this weekend, Paul, like what's been involved in that from your point of view? Well, one thing I would say with you, and it may come to pass at the weekend, you know, it, a motion to do something like this isn't ideal. Um, however, I want to be very clear that we engaged with all the parties in the GA from a CCC level, a development CCC level, provincial council since last year. So this could have been rectified and it wasn't who wanted trying in, in Galway's point of view. We were passed from pillar to post. Nobody took responsibility for outright denying us and nobody brought us into a room despite two requests to do so, to sit down. So a motion is a last resort for us, Richie. Um, it requires 60%. Um, I think it's a massive one for the GA, not just Galway. Um, I mean, what is it going to say about the association that if the biggest decision-making body that includes every county and every international unit and more than 60% of them don't feel that Galway should play in a provincial structure um, that worries me and uh, I think it worries a lot of people in the GA because of the fear of what's going to happen so been a lot of canvassing a lot of ringing around uh, a lot of positive responses um, but uh, GA politics Richie I suppose you don't know until the the votes are cast on Saturday morning. I, I noticed you didn't mention the negative responses. I'm sure there probably have been some. Um, I'm not asking you to, to name names or even to, to go into to massive detail on that, but what's the counter-arguments that you've been hearing against this, uh, apart I, from I, them I, being too strong? Like? I'll be honest with you, there hasn't been too many negative responses because it's a very hard leg to stand on publicly to say, we don't want you in the competition. So I've got very few downright no's, um, I have to say that. Um, there's certain the one big thing that's coming back Richie is it's too late in the day that the, that the structures are in place and fixtures are being made etc 
that argument doesn't stack up for two reasons. One, we wanted to get this sorted last March initially and then in September and that wasn't accommodated. And B, I suppose if you look at the structure of the competitions, which adds to the madness, uh, Leinster has one group of four and one group of three. Um, so we can slot into a bye weekend there at any stage. And what are we doing? We're actually giving the other teams an extra game rather than a game less. Um, so everything stacks up for us on that. So that's the big one we expect to come against us is that it's too close to the to the start of the championship. But that's not a real that's not a real blocker when I when I outline the structures to you like I have there. I admire the 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 thought that the fixture structure is is literally carved in stone and that there's no uh, erasing with all this and it would take, you know, three weeks and a, a, a contractor to go in and change all these things where in actual fact uh, it just needs a couple of clicks of a web browser and we're back on board. Um, I don't think it will put anybody in terms of a physical calendar out of whack too much. As regards, like you mentioned there, Leinster being uh, lopsided, um, have you discussed much about Munster and what is the likelihood of landing in there? Yeah, I think we're 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 open to it because again, um, we're not going to be picky or choosy. Um, I think it was bounced to Munster. I think Munster had a more um, robust discussion about it, I think, potentially uh, towards the end of last year. And, it, you know, I think it was given certain consideration. I think the view was it's not really the most natural fit. So maybe it does end up there. Um, but again, it does align with, if we look at it from a structural point of GA going forward, where where are we going to be? Um, we're also willing to make a pretty big gesture, Richie, in terms of our senior club champions. We will enter a provincial championship in the club as well. It's often been thrown out mm. there that Galway would like to have it both ways. We're very happy in Connacht at junior and intermediate level. We lost both of those finals this year. We just want to play at our level, but we will willingly move our senior champions into a provincial structure in addition to this also, have if, you met if that's what it requires. Have you met with any opposition towards this proposal within your own county? Absolutely not. No? No. no um, I'm, 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 I read your line, uh, you are speaking to John Fogarty and on The Examiner, where you were saying this could ultimately cost us all Ireland's in the long run because we're giving ourselves uh, a, a further and a, a stronger fixture list throughout the season. But that's a price we're paying, I guess, is, was what you were saying. Yeah, I, I just think, to, to give you a quick what it might look like where we think it's hurting us we could, we will win less all Ireland's but we've won a lot and it hasn't converted and there's a whole body of work going on behind the scenes on that we've a lot done from an SNC athletic development uh, point of view we're doing we're alleviating some of that in the background but we also need the structures to help us so just to give you a quick example take Tipperary and Clare came out of Munster last year they played eight and nine games respectively Um if one of them gets out again this year, they'll play eight or nine games again. There'll be be a sixteen year old on those teams that'll have played sixteen games at under seventeen level to a very high level in places like the Gaelic grounds, in Thurles, in Parky Cueve. We'll have top guys coming here that could potentially play five games over two years between sixteen and seventeen, uh, in kind of round robin games in small little venues. That matters down the line. I know it mightn't seem like much, but it does in terms of the impact it has for big day out, know who you're marking uh, at the very highest level on a repeat. That's that's why it hurts us. And everyone in the county has accepted that. I have to say, we are we are genuinely aligned from a development perspective in this county. On the bringing games to, to Galway, is that an aspect of it as well that kind of might generate or foster opposition in that they don't want to see gate receipts going outside of the particular province? I like again. I don't think it's a big one. We have we haven't even got sat down the nitty gritty. Like I would imagine that if we're let into Leinster, that we will have to play our games in Leinster. You know, and I think there will be a bedding down period for long enough. It wasn't until the round robin came in in the senior um, championship that we started to get home games. I don't think. I'll be fair. I don't think financially is is a big driver on this. Um, just been sincere about it, you know, and um, we're playing all our under-20 games this year in Leinster and it's a great competition in fairness to Leinster Council. There's a round robin in under-20 this year where we're in with uh, Wexford, Dublin and Kilkenny in Tier 1. There's a separate Tier 2. Everyone gets a minimum amount of games. We're playing all those in Leinster. So, look, at that's, again, I don't think it's a big enough blocker, it would be my own opinion. On the financial aspect, when you mentioned that there is a perception out there that you would be too strong, uh, should this come to pass where has that perception come from and is that related to like I know you, you've caught a lot of flack towards the end of last year when the, the spending um, announcement came out from Go it was what 2.15 million had been spent on mm. inter-county teams like is, is that jealousy uh, 
kind of coming to the fore when people say that you might be too strong for, for entering into these provincial championships? I think I don't think it is. I think that's down the line and we haven't seen the impact of us dominating at senior level in Leinster because of that spend. But but what I would say is I think it's more that our minors are seen as almost associated with All-Ireland wins. Right. And I think it's felt that we would give hand out some, some beatings. And we may do. I'm not going to deny that. But at the same time, if that happens on the field, then teams need to be tiered within the province as they kind of are yeah. it, to look after that you know because we're, if we're going to play them at some stage I, I still think we're going to if we're going to win it we're going to win it um, but like surely that, that thing should be fought out uh, on the field you know rather than rather than there so like it's it's just there's a lot of anger and frustration in the county about it I'm, I'm trying to keep the diplomatic side out as, as much as possible we feel you know we're upholding our side of the bargain as a dual county um, you know, just looking at last week, it came out that seven percent reduction in teams registered since 2019 in the mm-hmm. country uh, as, uh, across the board. Galway are up six percent. Mm-hmm. Um, our ju- true dual status of the, all the adult teams registered across each county, Galway is a 51-49 split. Um, I think the closest outside is at 55-45. We feel we're doing an awful lot right. We're backing the um, age grades policy. We're staying at under 13, 15, 17 because we've introduced thriving championships at under 19 or under 20 which no other county seems to have been done or seems to have achieved. And we feel, you know, it's it's time maybe we got the same level of balance back from the top down. For example, our, our money distributed in games development last year, despite being the third biggest county, we're 12th in what we get. So there's a lot of lot of anger and frustration in this county at the moment and I think this is uh, this is the tip of the iceberg for it. Much like I mentioned earlier on, whereby obviously this doesn't uh, begin and end with the, the, the claw on, on Saturday and um, the vote. Like clearly you would have done your homework and due diligence about what possibly comes after this as well. Have you thought out those next steps should you not receive the 60% of votes? Yeah, a couple of things to point out on that. Um, there is changes potentially to the age grades going forward. So what are the structures of them going to go like? So if, mm. if under 17 goes to under 18 like it was, what what is the, you would you would only hope that there'd be a structure designed for uh, us to come in. There's a lot of talk out there at the moment, which is a little bit infuriating that let the motion out of the way this year, pull it back and we'll sort it for next year. We've been told that before and it's never come true so the place to have it is is to say on the floor Leinster obviously have the most amount of votes does every county in Leinster going to support go against it I, I, I'm not going to say they are um, there may be one or two that will row in behind us but yeah long story short we'll be back in the same boat and uh, we'll need either Central Council or another Congress motion to sort it it's going to be an interesting weekend, uh, to say the least. There's a lot of uh, interesting emotions on the floor as well. But uh, thank you for explaining as much as you can uh, about Goey's situation at minor 11. Paul Bellew, the Goey GEA chairperson, thanks so much for joining us this evening. Thanks so many, Richie.